It is safe to say that gut health are the latest buzzwords to cause a frenzy in the medical world and beyond. But considering we have a second brain located in our bellies, the fuss seems to be warranted. But when it comes to nurturing or nourishing the status of our guts, we often draw a blank. So what does the science say and how can we tweak our daily habits to give our health a leg up? For more on this, we are joined by speaker and author, Dr. Helena Popovic. Great to see you again, Helena. You too, Sarah. How are you? Good, thank you. Now, tell us about the second brain in our gut. It governs some uh, pretty important things, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The gut brain refers to two thin layers of more than 100 million nerve cells lining our gut wall from esophagus to rectum. That's about the same number of neurons as you'd find in the brain of a cat. So we've kind of got a cat brain in our gut, so to speak. And it governs not only our digestive processes, but also significant significantly influences our mental health because there's two-way communication between gut brain and head brain. And that's why we often feel emotions in our gut. You know, you get diarrhea when you're really scared. And the other thing we found is that serotonin, you've probably heard of the happy hormone, we used to think it was just made in the brain. We now know that 80 to 90% of serotonin is produced in the gut. Mm. So if you have gut problems, they're often associated with mood disorders as well. Oh, really? Very I didn't know that. I thought it was just in the brain where it was developed. Mm. And that's incredible. Yeah, we used to. Yeah, we used to yeah. think that. Uh, Helena, can uh, gut bugs really determine whether we're we're fat or slim? Absolutely. In fact, we've now found that your gut bugs predict your risk of obesity more than your genes do. And mm. one study found more than 66 different bacteria regulating our body weight and also our cholesterol levels. And one of these bacteria is called Akkermansia. The more Akkermansia you have, the slimmer you tend to be. Why? Akkermansia stimulates the gut wall to produce mucus and this acts as a protective layer to stop us absorbing a toxin called LPS, lipopolysaccharide. And this is critical because lipopolysaccharide stimulates your fat cells to become inflamed and store fat. So right. how do you increase your Akkermansia? Logical next question. Um, the first thing is eat lots of fibre, but another great thing is leave a 12-hour gap between dinner and breakfast every night. It's probably the simplest slimming advice you'll ever have. Mm. If you have dinner at 7 p.m., don't have breakfast until after 7 a.m. And that's because Akkermansia needs a long gap with no food in your tummy to stimulate that mucus production. Mm. It's almost and they like fasting, it on rats, isn't it? On, on mice. They'll get a whole group of rats, feed them all the same calories, all the same food. Half of them receive the food over 24 hours. Half of them receive the same food in 12 hours and those that have that fast overnight gain far less fat. Um, we see a lot of ads for pre and probiotics. Are, are these things helping in that regard? Pre and probiotics do help, but you can get them in natural foods. Prebiotics refer to, you know, the five, the non-digestible fibres in food. So if you just eat lo a diverse range of vegetables, particularly garlic, onions, leek, asparagus, artichoke, endive, they're great prebiotics prebiotic foods, they feed the, the healthy bacteria in your colon. Probiotics refer to the live bacteria that are good for us. So the best probiotic food is probably yogurt. So natural, unsweetened, read the label to make sure it has live lactobacilli in it. And also a, a range of fermented foods, they are probio uh, uh, probiotics. So sauerkraut, kefir, kimchi, kombucha. Learn to ferment yourself if you can or go to your local farmers markets. They're better quality than the supermarket brands only because the supermarkets have to heat treat their food to make sure it's super safe. So yes they do help but what you don't have to buy them in a supplement. The okay stuff. but what about the supplements? Are they worth buying as well? If you are on antibiotics for instance because taking too many antibiotics throughout life is one of the biggest risk factors for wiping out your good bacteria. Let me say antibiotics save lives but they also kill off the good bugs. So if you're taking antibiotics make sure that you pay particular attention to lots of fruit and vegetables and, and don't peel the, the skin off the fruit if it's edible because that's got the, the fibre. Don't have alcohol and that's when I would take a probiotic but you'll have to experiment to see what works for you because different antibiotics affect different bacteria and we are all very different in what we carry. So would you take the probiotic when you're on the antibiotics at the same time? Yes and I'd probably continue afterwards as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, when it comes to good gut health, do the rules differ for men and women at all? 
Men and women do carry different gut bacteria, yes. In fact, we all do. And, and even identical twins don't carry the same bacteria. And that's one of the reasons we think women are more likely to get autoimmune diseases and inflammatory bowel disorders because they have different bu bugs. And an interesting thing is we think that in future crime scenes are now not only going to be tested for fingerprints but also for bacteria prints uh, because we all have our unique microbial fingerprints so that'll help identify mm -hmm. criminals. But having said that we still don't know enough to give gender specific dietary advice. So at the moment I would recommend everybody, men and women, fermenting and fartichoke, I mean artichoke. Yeah, okay. Kimchi is a delicacy. I love kimchi. You get yes. no arguments out of me when it comes <laughs> to that. Uh, Helena, it is just such a fascinating topic. We really appreciate your time this afternoon. And I know we're going to have a chat to you next week as well, okay? Because there's Definitely. lots more to discuss. My pleasure. Thank you.